Oh wow, that looks so different than anything we've seen. Yep. Great. <laughs> Sarah, this is the highest the highest diversity site that we've seen and I don't really have a good explanation for why this one is I think there are eight or nine species that we've documented here. It's very pretty. But again, we hadn't been to this part, so we're kind of getting lucky. You grabbing away, Steve? Grabbing away. Do you want to and the, out of it? the side bio box? Side. Yes. Side. Whoa. It's a big zoom. Oh, it's got some schmutz on it. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite sites. Nice. I, was, I thought I was kind of bored with this site. Oh, wow. Lots of brittle stars. Oh, look how Blowing in the breeze. <laughs> no wonder it looks uh, pink from a distance. I'm looking at, I look at Mary's high def screen. So it's a little, so it looked pink to me from a distance. And it, it must have been all these brittle stars. So what's <laughs> oh, wow. Those are different than yeah, we've they're, seen. They are very different. You can see the striping and the bamboo coral where they get their name. Yes. Oh, that's a cool shot. I'm gonna the little nodes, the black parts are protein, and then the white is the calcium carbonate, the axis, the skeleton. That's good right there. Happy polyps. Uh -huh. Yeah, they are. Not for yeah. very long. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> that crab's getting wary. <laughs> I will see hydroids very well. I was just oh. going to ask oh you yeah. if that little patch was hydroids on on the one we just panned over. Yeah, there, there was. Mm. Now, is that a sign of stress in these mm. corals? Because that was over um, Let's for a different right species. There, just for a minute, yeah. I think they just grow on dead skeleton. They, they grow Can on I any hard substrates available. Okay. So it's not necessarily a sign Wait, of stress you because you're on uh, dead hydrophilia. So. No, okay. that's good. Just leave it right there for a minute. Okay. That's a nice shot. Looks like there's another little crab leg back there. Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's like a brittle star arm. All right. Maybe come over to the left a little bit more and see that, that big Caligorgi on top. And then we can do a quick sample. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let me go to focus. Uh -huh. Nice. Gosh, I don't know what to focus on. That's good right there. You <laughs> yeah. got the brittle star arm. Yeah. Leave it there for a couple seconds. Nice. Just huge brittle stars. Yeah. Gosh. Let's see if we can... See if that isopod will jump. Or it might be asleep. <laughs> it's a good time to point out that these corals grow by fragmentation. <laughs> that unlike the sea fans, that when these these will all actually each continue growing as individual colonies, even when they're broken up like that. Okay. Oh my gosh! There he goes. There he goes. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! There he goes. Oh, that's awesome. Swim away. That is cool. <laughs> oh. Nice. Isopod. Belly shot. Should have left the drawer open. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how long do it, does each individual branch usually survive or live for? Like imploding's coral. It's sort of hard to tell. Oh. Yeah. Um, fish. I mean. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, oh. Carla. I don't know how long this, you know, like so this that's a conger eel? genotype. Yeah, conger eel. Um, you you know, doing? this one colony may have been here for, I don't know, 10,000 years or right. something like that. They grow at the fastest growth rate that's been measured is about two centimeters a year. Um, but it's typically slower than that. Um, is it generally like <laughs> they can only be white and alive? Like a my oh well, we're no uh, doubt stirring. Well, I mean, this—you know—if you, know, if you were to follow one of these branches, right. I don't know how far down <laughs> it would go. I mean, it could be meters thick. 